My name is Alex Vaccaro, and I'm a professor of orthopedic surgery and neurosurgery at Thomas Jefferson University. I specialize in spine surgery, and I'm the co-director of the Spine Fellowship Program. The new innovations in spinal surgery, we went through different phases. In the last 15 years, it was implant design, ease, of, ease and safety of placing metal to make the spine more stable. We're trying to figure out stem cells for spinal cord regeneration, for disc regeneration. We're trying to figure out how we can make motion part of the rehabilitative process rather than fusion. We're trying to make the ability to make smaller incisions through minimally invasive techniques, through image-guided techniques, and possibly with the help of robotic surgery. So we're making things smaller, making things safer, using the body own tissues to regenerate, and I think that's where we're heading in the next 10 to 15 years. A couple things about books. You can write a book about anything you want. When will someone pick up a book? We're inundated by so many different media sources, print, online versions, videos. So what attracted me to writing a book for Elsevier was the ability that I could not only put it in print, but I could put it on an online version. And that online version allowed me to be able to query it for any topic I wanted easily through their expert consult methods of doing that. So I love that about Elsevier. So that sort of attracted me to the company. And then there's ways of writing a book. If you write it in sort of a manuscript format, it's boring. But if you write it in such a way we have discrete topics where people can focus in, indications for surgery, patients set up in the operating room, pearls, pitfalls, complications, simple procedural steps. I can go back and reference that, like studying for an exam where it's easy, and that's sort of the reason why I like the format. And the artwork is beautiful. The, the artist has to be complimented. I think Elsevier is a leader in, in medical publishing, and I think it's been manifested by the sales of the first edition. This is a second edition book, and it has always done well. And I think to be competitive, you have to understand what the readers want to see. People nowadays may find it difficult to carry a book with them. They want to go to their smartphone, to their tablet. They want to be able to access the material, and they want to get, be able to get what they need quickly and then get to work. And then when you're on an airplane, you carry a book with you, especially in the beginning of the flight and at the end of flight, when the flight attendants are looking for you, not to have that tablet activated. So it gives you the best of both worlds. The typical audience for our books are the residents and fellows. They come to all the meetings. They want to see what's new. Uh, they have their experiences in their training program, but they want to see what other people do. And what makes our books interesting to the average buyer is that I ask experts from around the, f the world if I'm doing a minimally invasive anterior lumbar procedure, I know through my educational experience who's the expert at that procedure, who talks about it, who does research, and I ask that individual to write about it. So students love that. They come, they say, well, listen, we do it this way, but how does how do the experts do it? So they use the book. It's great for a young surgeon in practice who's had training in one area, and you can't train someone to do everything, and now they've become experienced surgeons and they've got good hands and they're confident and they understand the anatomy. Now it's an opportunity to read about other techniques that other people have more experience with, and they say, well, listen, I can do that, but wait a second, I'm a little bit, oh, good, I found that, now I know how to position the patient. And I know how to take care of those potential complications because we list the potential complications where they may say, listen, I need to have an access surgeon such as a vascular surgeon. And that's part of the book to understand that to make the, the procedure safer. And then some surgeons as they get older like to have reference books in their library. You know, because you see the young guys doing these operations and you're like, what is that operation all about? And instead of having to read a 30-page dissertation, you get a book such as our book, Operative Techniques, and it sort of gives you the the key facts to access.